Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on starting up the DCS F-16. This is going to be a full start, so if you're used to setting it up for taxi and then setting it up for takeoff at the end of the taxi, uh, this isn't really going to cover that, it's going to combine both of those. Uh, it's a pretty quick and easy process, I usually do it as a flow from the back left to back right, and a couple things up front at the end. So let's get started. First thing is to pick your loadout. You can do this after, but I usually do it at the start because that way it's done by the time the alignment is ready to go. Request rearming. So, copy. Set that. Set your probe heat. Turn on your IFF. Set your light panel. Make sure it's on normal. Your anti collision light you can set to whichever number of the flight you are. Main power on. Starter to start two. I adjust the volumes here, this is preference, and then get your throttle to idle so that the engine can start to begins. Turn on your helmet display, countermeasures to standby, turn on channel players, power on the RWR panel, and close the canopy. We need the switches that are behind the canopy lock. Rearming complete. Close and lock the canopy, turn on the jammer and RWR, arm your ejection seat, taxi light, set your category for your stores here as well. HUD symbology brightness, your standby artificial horizon, and set your altimeter. About now the engine should be on, so you can change and hold that to electric. And your station power switches, radar altimeter. I turned this off to declutter the HUD, power out the panel lights, those that are optional. And since our Reload and rearm is complete. We can now turn on all of our alignment data link and stored heading for the alignment start. Usually I will move off of this display so you don't inadvertently uh, watch the alignment process. Now you can set up your comm channels and I will go into dogfight mode, switch this SMS page to HSD, that's more useful in dogfight. And right now you're pretty much set and ready to go, just waiting on the alignment completion. If you want to check on the alignment, you can click list, it's number 6, INS, and check the countdown. You can also use this time to set up a custom steer point, talk to your flight, do whatever else you need to do until this alignment here starts flashing. So if you set up a custom waypoint, numbers may be. Make sure that you switch to a different steer point and then back to the custom one. That will ensure that the system updates it properly. Uh, just a few more seconds, your alignment should be ready, and then you can begin your test. Uncomfortable silence. Yep, the alignment's flashing, it's done and ready, switch this to nav, and you are set and ready to go. Thanks everybody for watching.